the moments that I wanted to go through. You know, I say I want to fight Canelo. So all of these moments leading up to that are just rounds in the bank experience, you know, getting ready for those bigger moments where I'm going to be pushed by tougher guys. So that, you know, that's what we wanted. I wanted to get pushed to the test a little bit yeah. in a real fight under the lights. And 15 seconds after that, right before the round ends, I throw a big overhand right what and wobble him. And you see the same thing happen. Like, I catch him. He falls into me. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's a huge fight between me and him. It's a really big fight. Um, obviously, you've got him and all his USA fans and me and with all my UK fans, you know, it's USA, UK, it's a, it's a big fight and obviously you've got my last name, which is a big name in boxing, um, a lot of viewers will tune in, you know, just for that because, you know, the Fury name is the household name in boxing at the minute, um, thanks to the big man. So yeah, it's, it's a great fight, but make no mistake, uh, get August 29th out of the way and then we'll look towards and Jake Paul. still undefeated, Tommy, TNT. What do you want next? It's, uh, you know, I think Tommy Fury is probably the top of that list. He's skilled, he's undefeated, and he's a real boxer. And yeah. he has, like, 4 million followers on Instagram, which is good, like, good engagement. The man's, um, you know, he's known in his own right, but I do believe in the boxing world. He's trying to use my last name, Tyson's name, to get him talked about inside the boxing world. But at the end of the day, we all know what he's about. He just wants to fight people who can't fight. He wants to keep winning.